June 1922. The Kaiser consults with his court of mystics about how to deal with the Russian threat to the east. Under their wise guidance, the country's issues with famine had resolved themselves. The Kaiser had to admit to himself that sending thousands of young men to die in the mountains of Czechoslovakia wouldn't have been his first choice, but it had worked wonderfully to unite the nation, and Czech bullets had quickly reduced the amount of mouths demanding to be fed. He drew himself up before them now, resplendent in all his military pageantry, and demanded to know how the country should deal with the communist menace knocking on their doorstep. A pause followed. The atmosphere heavy as each mystic withdrew within their own minds to search the schemes of fate for an answer. The Kaiser waited patiently for what felt like hours. Until finally, just as he was about to prompt the group for an answer, a great cry broke the silence. The cry was swiftly taken up by the others and spread through the palace until all through Berlin only one word could be heard. War! 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 G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought where I have something to show you. Thanks to a lovely commenter by the name of Molten Silver we have our refit wheel ladies and gentlemen. So the rules are simple. The first spin, I add whatever it lands on. So in this case, I would add one tertiary gun. Whether that's add a barrel or add a whole nother turret, add it in a, a casemate, whatever is the most feasible. I then have to spin again. And this spin will have the opposite effect. I will then have to remove one of whatever it lands on. So in this case, speed. I would have to remove a knot. After this, I will be able to do whatever I want to this ship. I just have to do these two things. So I have to add a tertiary gun. I can't then just add one and then remove two, for example. That has to be a permanent fixture. Same as the drop in speed. The only way I can regain that speed is to add it. But things like range finders, uh, upgrading to Mark II turrets, that's all going to be fine. As long as the barrels or whatever is the same as decreed by the refit wheel. The main randomizer wheel, you may notice, is a little bit thick because I've added in a ton of everyone's suggestions. It's fantastic now. It terrifies me. I am I actually don't know what to do. All right, back to the game. So, first things first, before anything else happens, I'm going to poke the Russians. Bang. Russians poked. Might tank a little bit of our prestige, add some unrest. Eh, we don't care. We hit a win. We have been informed by His Majesty's circle of mystics that this is the path to victory. And for some reason, they're very annoyed that Australia has decided to uh, side with the Russians. Don't quite get that, but you know what? Who am I to question the mighty mystics? Especially the Russian one. He, he scares me. He scares me quite a bit. Alright, with that, next turn. Alright. What's going on with the Chinese? Uh, I don't... I don't care about the Chinese. Uh, I can get naval prestige if I bag them. I only want to lose... Yeah, that's the best option I have. Sonar submarine communications. Huh. On Australian ships, we have a underwater telephone. Where we can talk very slowly and potentially hear submarines. Um... Codename Gertrude, if that interests you at all, if you like that sort of thing. Uh, Sweden would like two Saxony classes of heavy cruiser. We have the tonnage, and they're paying a good amount, so let's do it. Yep, we poked the Russians, that's great, and we're trying to invade Czechoslovakia again. Well, we have more troops this time. Maybe we can kill them faster. Okay, so the notice on how much tonnage something's going to add is still a little bit behind. Okay, good to know. Uh, in saying that, we will finish the shipyards in a few months, so maybe it's not worth suspending anything. Uh, we'll, we'll do it anyway. I do love being able to build multiple of the same class of ship, by the way. Uh, my artisanal campaign 
as Italy, I can't do this, and it's endlessly frustrating. I, <laughs> it's never, it never doesn't suck. Let's put it that way. Um, uh, we'll just freeze the Klein until that's built. If we can, bang. There we go. Back to seven months. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we're back here. Cool. Uh, and then in a few turns, those shipyards will grow and we'll be fine. All right. Uh, do I want to test the refit? If you guys would like, I can set timers. Like, after a ship is built, you have five years, and then you have to do your first refit. Like, it's mandatory on capital ships. We could do something like that. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Right now, I, I wasn't thinking of doing that. I thought I'd just do it whenever a technology came around that was valuable enough for me to risk it. You know, if you get something like... Um, what's going on here right now? Something like... Crap Armor 5. It's something I'm going to want on my ships. So, like, that might be enough for me to risk potentially losing a uh, turret or a barrel or, <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, that's something I should probably add to that. It's, like, barrel size. Like, bumping something from, like, 11 to 12 or whatever. Um, yeah, that'd be interesting. Oh, I'll, I'll <laughs> change the refill wheel as we go. It's obviously, everything's experimental. Uh, I've never done one of these campaigns before. I did. I tested it uh, a few months ago, but it was just a laugh while I was waiting for the update, not a true campaign. All right, with that out of the way, next turn. Ooh, the Austro-Hungarians might be fine soon. A turbo electric drive. That's very interesting. Look at that. Very expensive, but very, very good. I uh, don't think I'll be... Ooh, maybe we refit something to fix that. Torpedo protection f four or five? Four. It's another thing. Oh, well, we might be doing some... Um, we might be doing some refits this episode. Of course... I'm sorry, Sweden. No. I, don't, I couldn't build them even though I wanted. And you know that. Because I just had to cancel one of my own ships to build your last two heavy cruisers. So no... No, <laughs> you don't get that. Uh, Naval Prestige is pretty good. Maybe we poke the Germans. The Russian Germans? I am the Germans. Poke the Russians. Yeah, no. Uh, I need to build my own ships first. Thank you very much. And then we can worry about yours. Like, look at this. I've already suspended so many things. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this will be fun. Be fine. 2%. That's terrible. Oh, I guess we're losing this war against Czechoslovakia as well. Fantastic. I love losing the heat. 20,000 of the cream of the German youth on an invasion into Bohemia. Uh, oh, Bohemia is rightful German clay. We all know it. The Poles know it. The Czechs know it. It's fine. Alright, and with that being said, next up. Malaysia has oil, Venezuela with Japan, Brazil, Brazil, no, oh, 65, that's an insult, no, oh, that's not good, one of these days I'm going to have to do a campaign as England, it just, just curb stop everyone, like, that's the campaign, it's how quickly can I conquer the world, that'd be interesting, played on normal difficulty, after all these hard legendary difficulty challenges, just absolutely annihilate everyone on the easiest difficulty. I don't know how long that'd be fun for though. I feel like that'd be like fun for two episodes and then people would get very bored. Um, 7%. Alright, we're actually getting somewhere this time. That's fair. I don't really have much more since we can't poke the Russians again. So next time. Portugal with France. No, Brazil. No. I did see that our... We now have much larger shipyards. So... Uh, Sweden's going to pay us a ton of money. No, Sweden, I need that. Sorry. Ah, which means we can unsuspend a whole bunch of things. Uh, we're building that. We are potentially building this. Nope. <laughs> that is that is still too big. All right, uh, Klein's a bit smaller. Let's see if we can resume that. Hey, and we still have 7,000 tons. Happy days. Have we got anything else suspended? 
And we still have 7,000 tons spare. So that's good. And in four months, we'll have a whole bunch. Well, actually, in three months, we'll have even more. So that'll be good. And once they're building and we start having some spare shipyard space, we can start refitting our 1920 battleships in whatever manner the Kaiser's personal wizards and witches decide. All right. Uh, before we do anything, I'm going to poke the Russians. Hopefully this one does something. Next up. Sweden wants what? No, Sweden. I can't. All right. Minus 14. That's very good. Our invasion's going worse. Love that. Just that I was hopeful the army might be able to manage something. You know, that whole vaunted German army. It's supposed to be really good. Yeah, apparently not. Alright, well, we're out of naval prestige, but we've got a very low. Maybe we can get a war this episode. Fingers crossed. Eh, uh, I don't know. I'm not hopeful. Maybe we can put some ships at sea. Yeah, we'll put some DDs at sea. Maybe we can annoy them. No, doubt it, but fingers crossed. It's not costing us much anyway, so we'll just hit them out there. Maybe they'll get some experience. Uh, yeah, we'll bump up crew training a little bit, actually, because in my other campaign, not having enough crew pools actually crippling my economy, so I'm a little bit paranoid now, to be honest with you. Alright, next time. And the British and the Spanish, not us, though. Army losses uh, were apparently not in this one. Interesting. Hey, we're going again. Alright, well, we'll get them there. They're doing something, presumably. Presumably. Alright. How are we going here? Is that more room? Yes. Alright, we can finally unsuspend the Kaiserin. And look at that, we still got 2,000 tons. Alright, well that's good to see. Good to see all of our ships building again. And of course, we will be building the Kaiser and Helgoland in the next two months. Which will be very exciting, because that means we can start refitting these older classes of ships. <laughs> poor Koenig Albert. I dread to think what the refit wheel will do to that poor, poor soul. Next up. God, <laughs> we really are just fantastic at losing Germans, fighting Germans on the Czech border. Probably annoyed some Czechs in the comments, but haha, <laughs> that's a joke because there are no Czechs in the comments. In fact, uh, most of you are apparently from the US, according to my, uh, what do they call it, demographics that Google tells me about. So I don't know why anyone would VPN to the US, but if you have, uh, I know where you live. <laughs> um, yeah, one month and that'll be done, so I'm just going to go skip to that. Still haven't poked the Russians with their fleet. That's disappointing. Still not really too sure how that whole thing works. Alright. Bang. That would be two new ships commissioning. Which means... Ah, uh, Koenig Albert. Let's have a look at you, shall we? Alright. Of course, we all know what this means. Alright, wish me luck. Now, of course, this result we have to add to the ship. Alright. We are adding one torp. So what are we removing? Just really hoping to remove a torp. Oh, we're removing a secondary gun barrel. Alright. All right, this is going to be interesting. Alright, we got away with that pretty scot-free. As you can see, we now have two barrel, uh, four inch secondaries. So, that definitely hurt to, uh, do. Uh, we've also added 20 inch underwater torpedo tubes to the ship. So, we'll see how that goes. 
Uh, otherwise, we've just upgraded the range finders and the barbettes and the anti torp. So, uh, and the turbines to turbo electric drive. Which means this thing has 261 engine efficiency and 15 knots. So, uh, it's not running away from anyone. So, let's hope it's good at fighting. Alright, with that, we'll save our first refit of the campaign. Alright, let's get these refits through. Uh, if we do one, what's it gonna do? Alright, I'm gonna do one more. Alright, so we'll slowly start refitting these guys. It's a five month refit, which is a little bit long, but. Well, we have to do it, I guess. Uh, on the plus side, we do get two new battleships. The Kaiser class. Next turn, so. We're not exactly losing anything out of the fleet. Alright, next turn. Mon Cruisers 1. Ooh. That makes you want to try and get a light CL so badly. Of course, we've already got full shipyard, so. Probably not the best idea. Uh, double hull. Just uh, for submarines. Alright, we're getting some good ground there. You know, I might be willing to go into negative naval prestige just to get this war moving. But negative 74. Uh, let's just try it. Let's be a little bit reckless. I don't want to push it any further than this. This doesn't work. We're just going to sit pretty. But I definitely want to give it a try. I want a war. Because uh, there's only one way to get naval prestige. And that's to fight. Otherwise you're a uh, slave to random events. Plans in the case of a war is typical sea denial, sea control. We have 46 submarines. I'm going to be seeding them all around Norway. Uh, around uh, the North Sea. Into the Baltics. Flood this with... like Put a bunch of uh, light cruisers with mines. I think we have those. <laughs> in Talon. Uh, along with a whole bunch of submarines through here. Just make anything leaving Kronstadt die immediately. Then anything trying to get through the Kiel Canal or through um, around Denmark. If we have some spare, we can even put them down on the Straits of Gibraltar just to stop anything getting out of the Black Sea. But I think that's a luxury, not a requirement. Obviously, we don't have any overseas colonies to protect, so we don't have to worry about the Pacific. So that's a lot of their fleet that they're not going to be able to bring to bear on us. Now, Krongstad does have a fair fleet. Yeah, look at those. Otherwise, um... Yeah, we have no intel up here, so that's fine. But yeah, I think that's the plan. Just sea denial, sea control. They're two biggest things. If we control the seas, that gives us time to... I imagine we'll be invading Poland? Or maybe even Central Russia from Estonia? Uh, the Poles are allied. That's why I think maybe an invasion could tick off there. Not really sure how it goes with minor powers um, in land conflicts, but we'll see how we go. I think we'll be fine. I look forward to it. The Poles only have two destroyers, so hardly a challenge to our navy. We also have the Swedes on our side, which have a fair amount of pretty good battleships now. Uh, I think they have a 2DDs at the moment, but they should have more ships coming as we design them. Alright, now that plan's down, let's find out how that insult goes. New destroyers, TNT-3, of course after our refits that comes through. Yes! Uh, I don't think negative 2 naval prestige, that's great. It's actually really good. <laughs> I was expecting worse. Surely we're close now. Minus 86. Come on, just... <sighs> just kick off already. <laughs> Go on, do something to me. Insult me, so we can just get this war going. Uh... Already 27 minutes into the recording. I'd really like to get a war and a battle in this episode if we can. Just to see what these wild and wacky ships can get up to. Alright. Uh, I don't really think I have anything more. I have tons I'd like to do, but just shipyard size is just uh, blocking us at the moment. Which is unfortunate. We'll set this for another 12 months. Uh, build up another 10,000 tons shipyard size. We've got the money. Alright, next up. Alright, any battleship funnels? Uh, it's... No, we can't. Sweet, no. <laughs> we can't. Ah. Ooh. We should win that war. Really. 
I know I said I wouldn't poke them again, but we're so close. I'm just going to do it. If we get punished, we get punished. We, just, we will have to sit tight then, because negative six. I don't know at what point things start going bad, but that has to be pretty damn close. Alright, well, we're currently doing some maritime power projection. It's not really working, so I guess I'm just going to sit these guys in the middle of the Baltic Sea. Maybe they'll do something. The crews are training up, so it's not a complete waste what they're doing. Uh, we'll get another battleship in two months. Happy days. Along with we'll get our other battle battleships back. Just free up more um, dockyard space, which is what we need. And then maybe we can get some more of these modern light cruisers. If the wheel is kind. Which it's not. But if. No. No. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we can give them a straw. Yes! Oh. Come on. It's got to put us close. Minus 95. Just... Just fight me, bro. <laughs> we're negative 95. We're on the brink of war. Just fight me. I don't care. Just do something. As Conor McGregor would say. Do something about it. Come on, just do something about it. <sighs> I see stiffness in the Russian Navy. Uh, Alright, that's enough, Conor. <laughs> that's enough uh, insulting of Irish people. I shall stop, I promise. Alrighty then. Uh, next turn, big things are happening. Nothing happening this turn, so next turn. Hey, Alright, we're getting two in. So when this inevitably fails, this one can do something. Because, yeah, that's not... It's not going anywhere. I can't remember how long you get to invade. I remember it happened last episode. We failed. But yeah, it's just going to keep failing. I can't see this... This invasion is not going to work. It's not. And I think we already have 100% um, army efficiency, so it's not like we can get better army logistics. It's just it's going to keep failing. Come on, just... Just stop. <laughs> just... Hang on, is that... What's this roll? Alright, that's interesting. I didn't know these were a thing. That's very interesting. Oh, it doesn't really affect us right now, but I'm glad to know that that's a thing. We'll just put these back in Palau. They're not doing anything out there. They're not annoying the Russians like I would like them to. Alright, and with these all done, with a massive freeing up of our dockyards, yes, look at that. We can finally refit our last three Koenig Alberts. Bang. Finances okay? Yes. Actually, plenty of room. Plenty of room. Maybe we can build some ships for our um, allies soon. Or try and build our own light cruisers. Of course, the problem is if it lands on another battleship, then we're right back where we started. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll get me some more um, submarines, because I don't have enough submarines, you know. I feel like the US Navy sit on 48 submarines just doing nothing. Alright, next time. Natural oil, happy days. Very little interesting happening there. Oh, look at that, just nothing, <laughs> literally nothing happening. How do they have, they've lost more than they currently have. Which is very impressive. <laughs> Don't know how you manage that. Alright, negative three naval prestige. Let's just, let's poke them. We'll poke them and then we're going to do something very interesting. We're going to see if we can build more light cruisers. This might backfire, because if this wall kicks off, we're going to need that um, spare uh, dockyard space to repair ships. But I'm going to risk it, because I really want light cruisers. So here we are. We're back on the wheel. And now we're going to spin. CL, CL, CL. Yes! Oh no, all funnels four, but that's fine. We'll see how we go. Alright, well that's what I wanted. Let's see if we can make this thing a reality. Alright, well of course go and modern light cruiser one. Make this thing as big as possible. It's not that big. Uh, speed. 
Let's try and do the max 35 knots, although we'll have to see how we go. So, what uh, what they were talking about with the uh, max funnels forward is essentially all funnels for engine efficiency have to be on the forward side of the ship. None can be aft. Alright, welcome back, and welcome to the Ariadne. The roll's pretty bad, but aside from that, I think this may be the, my favourite light cruiser I've ever made. Even with the forward... Um, even with the forward funnels. Uh, it actually worked out really well. It has eight... Uh, well, it has four twin barrel turrets, seven inches. They're the Mark III variant. It's got a ton of... 2 inch Mark 4s, it's got 8 torpedo tubes, 20 inches, it can do 35 knots at 123 engine efficiency, uh, yeah, and it's got max armor in most things, so I'm very excited for this thing, I actually can't think of, uh, I actually can't think of a light cruiser I've ever made that I like more in this thing. Our armor's a little bit thin, but as you can see, I just fixed that roll problem with their four inch main deck. So uh, plunging fire scares this thing not at all. <laughs> uh, all right, very happy with that. I think I'm gonna save design. Alrighty then, let's try and build these things. Uh, how much space we got? Good enough for three, I think. And we are going to want them all in Talon, because they have mines. And these are our first light cruisers. Because the Chaos Wheel hates me. <laughs> oh, Talon, not Palau. Oh, that's where they're going now. Alrighty then. Uh, let's see how if we can get a war going. Fingers crossed. That's it. That's all we wanted. War it is. Hey, with some pretty cool upgrades coming through. Uh, no, we're gonna need that. Alright, let's get some naval prestige, ladies and gentlemen. And let's flood this with submarines. Bang. Sea Control, Sea Denial, Maritime Power Projection. That's the name of the game, and that is what we're going to be doing. The moment they move anything, I want them to be running into a submarine. Submarines and mines. I know we do have the superior navy, but you just can't... You've got to have some sort of asymmetry running around. And we'll even move something up around uh, off Bergen. Just in case they try and loop a fleet around. Alright, as for everyone else, we're going to be going to Sea Control. It's pretty bad timing with three battleships out, but they're not really the battleships we care about, if that makes sense. Alright. 
speaking of battleships, I know they have some, and I want to go say hi. I'll be very careful here. Yeah, not destroyers. Ah, too many. Bang. All right. That fleet should be able to deal with what the Soviets have. We have a lot more smaller ships, even if they do outnumber us battleship-wise. All right. Next turn. Let's see how we go. Oh, that's what we wanted. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> Let's see how this goes, shall we? All right. Let's hope their uh, battle cruisers are uh, in favor of Jutlanding. Yeah, quick pause while we reorganize. Because... Bang. You guys following. Screen, we'll then to follow the battle cruiser. No, what else? Destroyers in a battle line. Interposing. Uh, I like that we see them already because I don't like that. Uh, I don't like this fog. We do, the fog does actually play in our advantage as we have more of these beautiful destroyers with many, many guns. Uh, I believe, are these the ones with the incendiary rounds? I don't really remember. Okay, so many campaigns, so many games. All right, let's play and see how we go. All right, shells incoming. A6 is doing 31 knots. Okay, what's their cruising speed? 18 knots. Let's slow down to that, shall we? Make sure our escorts are doing something similar, or else they're just going to take off. Alright, well the Heligoland isn't even firing back because it's only got 9 inch guns! Ah! Ah, these are our, uh, these are our torpedo battleships. Well, change of plans. Uh, we're closing hard. <laughs> oh god. Yep, max speed. We're closing hard. We are closing hard, and we are going to torpedo the enemy. Uh, M O H E. Dang. Alright. This is so wild. <laughs> well, there's a pretty good way to fire coming in at us. We're gonna get our uh, destroyers to start letting off some volleys of torpedoes. Of course, our battleships will be doing the same. Oh my god. <laughs> I have no clue how this is going to go. There's obviously no pre-existing doctrine for a torpedo battleship. So I just have to hope these guys can do something. Uh, we're getting some fires off, which I like. Oh, destroyers are taking a beating, but they've got their torps off. So there are torps in the water uh, doing crazy crazy things that's from our torpedo battleships i think all right uh shoot the azov please and slow down to something reasonable now so that our other ships can attempt to keep up the sadlitz does have 15 inch guns so it's literally the direct opposite of what these guys are doing oh my god no god please no no no! No! All right, well, I did not see that, so... Uh, all right. Yeah, return back to the fleet, please. In fact, we could probably just retreat uh, this entire task force. 
Yeah, as they're currently flooding quite badly. Uh, what is this? What are these guys doing? No! God, please, no! 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 Get the Orenberg at least. While you're screening at 35 knots. Um, yeah, slow it down a little bit and avoid torpedoes, please. Hey, you're getting good hits off. Hopefully something bigger than 9 inches, but... I have no faith in my, I have no faith in my fleet to deliver that promise. Uh, I'll slow them down to 15. Hope they can do something. Oh god. In these heavy cruisers are having a bad day of it. Might have run into a torpedo or two, I'm not entirely too sure. Ah, uh, it's crazy. Why are we still doing a 3 top speed? Slow this down. Alright, so what have we done here? What damage have we done? Not a great deal by the looks of it. The cruiser squadron is moving through the enemy line. Speed up. I would hope they're dealing damage to... the Orenberg, but I don't actually know if they are. The Satians apparently just decided to ram the enemy. Um, that is... They've come to the conclusion that this is the optimal strategy in this encounter. Or maybe they haven't, because they're cowards. Alright, let's just... Detach the station and get it to rare arts. And of course it's sunk, because... Cowards. Uh, Mecklenburg. Ram the Orenburg. Do it, you coward. Right, our main battle line now needs to... What is happening here? What is this? What is happening here? Why are these guys now a battle line as well? Uh, the Sailors is almost sunk because they're sitting next to each other, which makes them double the target. What is happening here? What? Literally, what the actual... Did I not tell these guys to follow? At what point did that stop becoming an order to be followed? Like... At what point did my orders become suggestions? Okay, well, our battleships are still doing well. I gotta... Okay, we've done damage. The Orenberg is not sinking. I... I don't even know what happened in this battle. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, I have no clue what happened. My fleet went psycho, charged in, my heavy cruisers just decided they were going to board my battleships. I I don't know what's happening now. I genuinely don't know. They should have done a lot better than this. They're doing way they're going way too fast. Why are they doing 36 knots? They're meant to just be following. Their cruising speed's 22 knots, so that's what they should be doing. And they should be focus firing the Orenberg for a start. Okay, so these guys have no real finishing power, which is going to be their problem. Uh, at HE, they can do a lot of damage. They're just not going to finish anything. And the enemy is so ridiculously accurate. Look at that. That's legendary difficulty for you, though. They do a dud torpedo. A dud torpedo in 1920 with all the upgrades we have to torpedo accuracy. Yeah, pull the other one. It's got bells on it. Alright, the speed is going to be these guys' greatest attribute here. Okay, we do have some torpedo hits. Happy days. They did nothing, apparently, because... Why would they do anything? We also cannot sink the Orenberg, who's... Literally... It's got 11... It's got somewhere between 11% flotation this entire battle. Uh, the Graf Spey, just retreat, brother. Just, I don't I don't know what you can possibly do at this point. Uh, are we following orders, or no? No? Oh, because they've hit the rudder. And the Orion just disintegrated. Yeah, this is going well. It's going well, trust me, it's going well. 
Uh, just retreat as well. That's all that's going to happen here is we're just going to have to retreat because... Uh, I don't know what else we can really do. Our fleet's spread out. They've taken control of the center of the battlefield. They're ridiculously accurate. Uh, and they apparently don't take damage. <laughs> so I'm not really sure what we can do here. We do have more fleets. We have a massive fleet. We can take these losses. It's just annoying. Losing ships to a good enemy strategy or whatever is fine. When you're losing ships because your fleet literally refuses the orders you've given it, that's frustrating. That's really annoying. Like, I don't... I'd have to rewatch the replay, but I don't understand what those cruisers were doing bunched up right with my battleships. They were tasked to follow. And then these cruisers just literally ran into the middle of the enemy formation after, again, being tasked to follow. I, I'm, I know I'm sending like a broken record right now, but listen, I just lost all of my heavy cruisers because they didn't follow the orders like I gave them. I've never had that happen in this game before. I have no clue what happened. Why they just decided to go rogue. Also, these 9-inch guns are doing nothing. They're so bad. Uh, neither are the torpedoes. Good to know the torpedoes. Uh, just, they fire from too far out. I don't really know what the point is. And, I don't know, these guys need incendiary ammo or something, because... Yeah, they're doing hits, but they're not doing, getting anything with them. Yeah, that's the last of our uh, heavy cruisers, except for the Graf Spay. Which is just fantastic. Alright, five times speed. These guys are leaving at max speed, so... Let's we'll let them go. Uh, we'll change it to loose so they can speed up. I don't know why they're going so slow. I'll just detach them so they can go at their own speed. Retreat. Retreat. Hopefully now they'll do max speed away from the enemy. Here we go. Yeah, so these were a complete flop. <laughs> they don't work. Um... In fact, they're probably worse than not working. We're probably going to lose the Helgeland here because they can't outrun these guys. I don't know. This is very frustrating. No. We didn't sink anything. That's so bad. That's so bad. Or is not going. Okay, it, it went badly. But it would say it's not going well. Right, as always with these campaigns, we don't fight the little battles. Right, where's this fleet? Is this the one here? Yeah. So luckily for us. Uh, we'll see. Cool, here's the space. In two months we get more of our battleships back. In the meantime, uh, where's the Kaiser and the Helgeland? Where is this? Uh, where is this disaster of a fleet? I uh, don't know what happened to the Graf Spey. I'm guessing she sunk after the battle. We'll get them in Palau and we're going to get the fleet in... Bremen? Where do we keep our fleet? Emden. We're gonna get the Emden fleet out. Get it doing some presence patrols. Of course, want the battleships out first. Ah, uh, DDs apparently don't do anything, so... <laughs> More than happy to have... 
uh, more heavy cruisers. Although apparently they're not too cra too crash hot either. So we'll just see what we can do with this fleet. Hopefully it goes better than the last one. All right, guys. Sorry for that um bit of a disappointing showing. I really wanted to do better, but we are in a war. Uh, we're not too far behind points wise. We're only fifteen thousand points behind. As you can see, we have ninety three ships to their sixty six. So we're still ahead, and they have a lot of damaged battleships they don't need to go back into repair. So hopefully we're able to uh, trump them. We did only lose one battlecruiser, while they had a ton of battleships damaged. So fingers crossed we can get some decent attrition uh, on their trade ships, on their transport ships, sorry, uh, and on their vessels via submarines and mines. I'm excited for that, fingers crossed. Uh, might also move some destroyers out there from the Palau, but that's risky. Alright. I hope you guys tune in again next time. I can't wait to see you then. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're feeling generous, the channel does have a Patreon. Ciao.